Fire shots ring out, striking an ambulance in West Baltimore. Tonight, city police are investigating that incident. WJC's live at police headquarters downtown. I'm Joy Burnett with the tense moments and the desperate calls for backup. Have a joy. Vic, no one was injured, but it was a very close call. The window of the ambulance was shattered by at least one bullet. First responders were out providing medical aid when they found themselves in need of assistance. Wednesday morning, police say someone started shooting near Wynnum Road at the exact moment first responders were on the scene. I'm a subject up the street with a rifle. We're going to be vacating the area to a safe distance. Emergency recordings captured the frightening moments as EMTs called for help. I need a staff on PD and another transport unit. We have a bullet hole through our ambulance. You said you have a bullet hole in your engine? A bullet hole in our ambulance with a patient. I need another transport unit. I have people shooting in the area. The firefighters union said the EMTs were inside a home when the suspect started shooting. At least one bullet shattered the glass on the ambulance, but no one was hurt. Police say they have a person of interest in custody, and this may have all started after an argument. The union does not believe the shooter was aiming for the first responders, but this is a stark example of the dangers on the job. The union said their crews have been physically attacked, held up with knives, scissors, or even guns. In this video, a naked man attacked two female first responders. Neighbors who heard about the ordeal were not surprised. That's just a sign of the times. It's crazy. People just doing anything and everything. Baltimore police are investigating, and once again, they say they have a person of interest in custody. Alpha Joy Burnett for WJZ. Alpha Joy, thank you. The firefighters' union says it does not believe their EMTs were targeted.